You know, I really wish I could just start this video with some happiness and positivity, but I had to get a few things off of my chest just because of how awful the uh, Modern Warfare 3 beta was, uh, in my opinion. Modern Warfare 3 is uh, just the epitome of what I've been trying to uh, sort of get rid of what uh, Call of Duty has been doing for the past couple of years. And this is the reason why I took a break from Call of Duty for three years. Uh, to those of you who do know me, I used to have multiple YouTube channels. I started off with uh, uploading Black Ops 1 gameplay on my, ma on my other channel, The Black Phantom. Uh, I actually still have that channel. I just found out that like a couple of minutes ago. Um, but this is, this is just wrong. I quit playing Call of Duty for three years um, because I didn't like the direction that the game was going in. Uh, because after uh, Call of Duty 2019, I believe, uh, it was just Black Ops Cold War. I completely skipped that. And then it was uh, Call of Duty, um, what was it, Vanguard. I skipped that one as well. And then I played Modern Warfare 2, um, but it but it wasn't as much as I played Modern Warfare 2019. I stopped playing Modern Warfare 2 altogether by like the, I want to say like the third or fourth month in, um, where I just got completely burnt out by the game. And this is what, this is a really a trend of all Call of Duty games that come out each and every year. They always get so tiring and it gets repetitive. Um, you have Activision over here trying to copy the Battle Pass system from Fortnite. And it just doesn't work because Fortnite is a free-to-play game. Free-to-play games, uh, you're a little bit more uh, welcoming of the Battle Pass system because you're not paying anything for the game. And, you know, you have Activision over here charging $70 for a game and uh, still, along with that, charging a Battle Pass system uh, where your unlockables get locked out if you don't, you know, reach a certain tier within a time frame. So that's, in itself, is a problem. Now, second problem is... Uh, this game, Modern Warfare 3, I played the beta, I played about a total of a whopping two hours before I got bored of the game. The game, um, and I'll, I'll go over the positives firstly, the movement is uh, exactly, almost exactly, I would say, is like it was in Modern Warfare 2019. And some people may like that, some people may not like that. I'm one of the people who like that because um, I'm one of those people who can adjust to movement styles. I adjust it to boots on ground. I can adjust to exosuits. I can adjust to thruster jets. And so the Modern Warfare 2019 movement was nothing, you know, sort of overly dramatic for me um, as it would be for somebody else who doesn't have the hand-eye coordination that I do. But to say the least, uh, this game was terrible, uh, outright terrible. It is... It is basically everything that Modern Warfare 2 was, just mine with some, you know, movement styles of Call of Duty 2019. And when I was watching videos on it online before I even played it, I was like, oh, this looks a little bit different uh, from Modern Warfare 2. I don't know why everybody's, you know, sort of, you know, sort of on the fence about it. And then I actually download the beta and play it on PC. And first of all, you needed to download Modern Warfare 2 to even launch the application, um, which I found weird in itself. That was sort of a first red flag. And uh, thirdly, or secondly, I go into the game and the UI and everything is the exact same as what it was in Modern Warfare 2. And I was just furious from that point um, because basically what Activision is telling us is they know that people are going to buy their game regardless of what they do. They know they're going to people. There are going to be people that go to the midnight releases. They wait and camp out on Xbox Live or PlayStation Network at 12 o'clock at night um, and fresh in the daytime and play the. They'll buy pay a full seventy dollars um, for this game and they're just going to be laughing their way to the banks about it. Um, to, to that point, I would say no, I am not getting this game. Um, it's going to be the fourth Call of Duty game that I've skipped out on now. Um, because, you know, I can't let, you know, these greedy game companies get their way um, with everything. And I need to try new games to sort of satisfy uh, my needs. Because Call of Duty right now isn't it. 
This game is basically an exact copy and paste from Modern Warfare 2. This is not even a new game. That is, this is a $70 DLC. I can't even imagine how long the campaign is going to be because if this campaign is like two to three hours long, I know people are going to be super mad about this game when it does come out. Um, even though I want to play the campaign, I Makarov is one of my favorite um, video game villains, and I would love to uh, see how they redo them in the campaign, but that's something I can watch online. I don't need to sort of like um, buy a $70 game that is an exact copy and paste of the one I played last year um, and to redo that over again and speaking of which why in the world why in the world can somebody tell me why in the world did Activision go back on their promise to make Call of Duty a two-year cycle because that is what that that is what the developers really needed they needed time off they needed time off to uh, sort of recuperate things, reassess things to make sure their game is polished and perfect. Um, but no, they wanted to rush out. They didn't, I guess they didn't like the way Modern Warfare 2 is performing. So they wanted to rush out. They wanted to rush out and get the next Call of Duty out so they can make a quick buck. And lo and behold, the people are going to give them that quick buck. They're not going to fight with their wallets. Just They're just going to do exactly what they, um, what Activision wants them to. And I, I am just frustrated. Um, they give us the same thing. They gave us the same movement from Call of Duty, um, Modern Warfare 2019. They gave us the same UI, the same voice actors, even the, the even the freaking um, the um, freaking voice actor at the start of the match where you're uh, loading up. You know where the voice actors would say "Team Deathmatch" and "Let's do this" or whatever stuff like that. It's the same exact one from Modern Warfare 2. It's like they ne they reused the same voice files. They reused the same music. They reused everything. The maps. Every single map in this game was reskinned from Call of Duty Modern Warfare uh, 3. Um, excuse me, Modern Warfare 2. Which I don't even know why it, that even makes sense because Call of Duty, this is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So shouldn't you remaster maps from Modern Warfare 3 in 2011? No, they remaster all the maps from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 in 2009. Uh, and those maps were supposed to be in Modern Warfare 2 to begin with. To begin with. This is outrageous. Um, please, if you are listening to this video, I know my channel does not have a lot of views whatsoever. I know I am by all means by all means not a big YouTuber at all, but this is the biggest cash grab that a video game company has ever produced in my life. Um in my short life that is, and I will not be supporting this. I urge y'all not to support it as well. Please we need to stop giving these video game companies uh the thought of mind if they want to just screw us over and it's the same thing with destiny 2 i'm having a problem with destiny 2 right now i'm tired of playing you know paying uh 40 to 60 dollars um every every quarter of the year just to play a dlc that uh sort of nobody wants to nobody wants to really play uh you play you try to play a raid and then you go on lfg destiny lfg which technically isn't even a thing anymore i found out and you try to find a group and the group just kicks you out when you don't know how to do anything because the community is just trash now. Uh, it's the exact same thing. I don't even want to play Destiny 2 anymore. Um, I don't want to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Uh, excuse me. I don't want to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I don't want to play Destiny 2. I don't want to play any of these games that are being, you know, forced out there by the hand. And, you know, I thought, um, and to say the least, I'm sorry, I'm getting flustered over here. To say the least... Um, hopefully Microsoft acquiring Activision uh, earlier this year I think they just closed on the deal a couple of days ago hopefully that will uh, bring some common sense to Activision but let's be honest here fellas I highly doubt so and the main reason being is because uh, take Destiny 2 for example as I was just mentioning uh, they were partnered with Activision Bungie was partnered with Activision throughout Destiny 1 and uh, the, through the first half of Destiny 2's life cycle 
and as soon as they uh, split from Activision in the late last half, the previous half of Destiny 2's life cycle, everybody, including myself, was like, oh man, they don't have to charge for microtransactions anymore. They don't have to charge for this and that anymore. Everything will just get better um, because they don't have Activision over their heads. But I was wrong. I was wrong. And everybody else was wrong too because you know what? Microtransactions got worse when uh, Bungie split from Activision than when they were with Activision to begin with. Um, these companies do not deserve your money. Vote with your wallet. Do not give them your money. And I, I, I hope you enjoyed that rant, but I'm running out of time. Good talking with y'all, but it's been your boy, Phantom. Peace.